Until recently, it's been assumed outer space was just too cruel an environment for life to exist. But closer to home, scientists have been discovering bugs that are surprisingly tough little blighters, living in some of the harshest places imaginable, such as here in Mono Lake, California. Yes, that's much for me. Yes. One of NASA's top astrobiologists, Richard B. Hoover, has the job of tracking them down. He's an extremophile hunter, and mud is a good place to start. It's a nice grayish mud with a slightly sulfurous smell. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Mono Lake is one of the most spectacular and wonderful places on Earth as far as astrobiologists are concerned. It has no fish. It's about three times the salinity of seawater, and it has a very high pH, like strong soap. And under these conditions, only a few forms of life are able to live. The water temperature here has gone to 85. Look at the brine shrimp in the water. They're there by the billions. Ah. I'll take a sample of that, yes. Uh, we call them extremophiles because they live in what we consider to be extreme conditions. The microorganisms that live here would actually think where we're living would be extreme conditions because of all this terribly poisonous oxygen around. Extremophiles are far tougher than anyone had thought possible. Life can live just about anywhere, and Richard has had to resort to ever more drastic measures to track it down. We have a new microorganism that was collected in the guano of the penguin uh, during the expedition to Antarctica, and this microorganism is actually able to grow at temperatures of minus 5C. Fantastic. <laughs> but basically, you found it in penguin shit. <laughs> penguin do is uh, perhaps the more polite way. Uh, but yes, uh, guano is a very interesting uh, uh, source for these kind of strange exotic microorganisms, particularly from places like uh, Antarctica and Patagonia. And we thought you were weird getting mud samples. <laughs> Life has even been found living in a place more extreme than frozen penguin do, happily making home in the heart of a nuclear reactor. They discovered that there was a microorganism that was living in this highly alkaline water in the presence of spent nuclear fuel rods and growing in the water and on the fuel rods and eating holes in the stainless steel cylinders. So these microorganisms were able to live in incredibly high radiation environments, high alkalinity environments, and their primary food source was the iron itself of the stainless steel. While Richard continues work on these earth organisms, what he would really like to find is an alien version. <laughs> 